Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to construct a histogram in Excel. So I've got some data over here, let's say it's height data or whatever, and I need to put this into a histogram. Your, for, your first thought might be to highlight it all and then insert a chart, but really what we have to do is we have to group these uh, numbers. So if I look at this, my smallest number is in the 150s, 155, and my biggest number is 190. So my groups are going to go from 155 upwards and I'm going to group them in groups of 5, uh, of width 5. So this would go from 155 to 159. I'm just going to write it um, like this, 155 dash. The next group would be 160 dash and so on. Okay, so I've got those different groups there. Whoops, just fix that one. And uh, what I need to do now is I need to put the frequency in the next column. So the frequency is how many I have that fit in that group. So between 155 and 159, I've got, oh, I've just realized I've missed one. I need to put a group in here at 145 and 150. So cut, paste, 145. 150. Alright, now that I've fixed that, I'm going to put my frequencies in here. Before I do that, the easiest way to do this is to actually order these first so that I can um, pick which ones have to go where. So if I highlight the data there, go to data and sort from A to Z, it'll put them in order. Now it's much easier to see what um, frequency I have of each group. So I've got one in here in the 145 to 190. I've got none in the 150s to 154. In 155, up, I've got three and so on. Okay, so I'm done. I've got my classes here, my groups, and I've got my frequencies. The next thing I do is highlight the data and then go up to insert, and I'm going to insert a column graph. So I click on column, pick the first one, and it comes up with a graph that looks like this. Often it puts a series on the side there. I've only got one set of data, so that's superfluous. I'm going to delete that by, just by highlighting it and hitting delete. The next thing I need to do is, at the moment, this is just a plain column graph. Histograms look a bit different from this. Histograms don't have gaps between them because they're for continuous data. So I'll right click on one of these blue columns, go to Format Data Series, and then change the gap to zero. When I close that now and click off of there, you can see that I've got this more of a histogram now where everything's got no gaps in between it. The only problem is I can't really see um, where one piece of data starts and the next finishes, like where one group goes to the next. So I'm just gonna right click on them again, format that data series, and I'm gonna change the border. So um, I don't have a border at the moment, so I need to add a solid line, and I might even make it black so it stands out more. Um, you can fiddle around with this and just make it a bit thicker. Close and now those different individual um, bars stand out a lot better. The other thing I need to do is add in labels on my axes. So if I go to layout I can add axes titles. So the horizontal axis title would be for example height in centimeters. The vertical axis title will be frequency. And of course on any graph you should have the chart title as well. So I would put that on the top. But that's it really in a nutshell, that's making a histogram in Excel.